Hi, this is Mr. Bans Group TV. Today we will talk about the fiat currency and the machine that created it. But first, let's talk about how the fiat money was created. Around the globe, in almost every country in the planet, use fiat currency. And this fiat money as we know it is banned by a country's government. and use as a financial instrument in dealing with goods and the day-to-day -day needs of the people. But first, a central bank introduces new money into an economy by portraying financial assets or lending money to financial institutions in our world like commercial banks then redeploy or repurpose repurpose this base money by credit creation through reserve banking Fiat money is a type of currency that is declared as a legal tender by a government. But fiat currency or fiat money has no intrinsic value. And it's not backed by any tangible assets. For example, in the past, it was backed by gold or silver or any other commodities. A fiat money is just made of paper and therefore the resources needed is not much. China is the first country that used fiat currency. Around 1000 AD, and this currency then spread to countries in our world, and it became popular in the 20th century. When U.S. President Richard Nixon introduced a law that canceled the direct convertibility of the U.S. dollar into gold. Fiat money is then backed by the public pay into their own government. The British pound sterling is the oldest fiat currency that still changes hands today. Again, the British pound sterling is the oldest fiat currency that still changes hands today, which means that it is still in use as of today. Dating back in 1694, that was about 328 years ago. A fiat currency is also called a fiat money. 
and whose value is backed by the government that issued it. Which means that all over the world, we use PF currency. Almost, if not all countries in our world use fiat currency as a legal tender. What is the best example of a fiat money or a fiat currency? The dollar bill relates to a piece of paper which is valued as a dollar. Dollar bills are examples of fiat money or fiat currency because there are no there are no physical commodities behind them. Also, the value of the dollar bill is determined by the government. And in producing it, it doesn't require demanding resources or cost or labor. Unlike precious metals, government issued money is also more convenient to distribute and use without too much hassle, especially because it can be used also in digital forms. As mentioned, the current title holder for the longest lasting fiat currency is the British pound sterling. The United States and many other countries around the world have since moved to fiat money as their currency. As of 2022, none of the world's countries use gold standard. Now, if you ask me, can Bitcoin replace the fiat system? The answer is, Bitcoin is not a fiat currency because it is not issued by a government or regulated by a central authority. Instead, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are backed by the blockchain technology. Cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin are decentralized. Decentralized meaning no single authority controls their supply or value. There could be significant adverse impacts on economic and financial stability or the change could occur in an era of complete global stability. The International Monetary Fund recommends against adopting cryptocurrency as a main national currency in its current state due to price volatility. Now, let's see in the near future what will happen to the world's fiat currency or fiat money as we all know it. And from there, we will decide what to do about it. This is Mr. Bans Group TV, and thank you for watching.